This video is a guide outlining the steps to collect, package, and ship samples to the WVU Plant Diagnostic Clinic. When collecting specimens to submit, choose sick or dying plants, not ones that are dead or have been dead for a while. If possible, collect several plants to show the various stages of decline, including one healthy plant as a basis for comparison. Never pull plants from the ground. Instead, dig them up. Get a good section of the root system as well as the soil connected to it. If a plant is showing a systemic decline, the problem likely originates from the roots. Thus, a root sample is a must. For plants and trees that are too large to send in whole, be sure to also include some symptomatic above ground stems and foliage as well as some roots and soil. About one quart of soil and two handfuls of roots will do nicely. When trees have dead or dying limbs such as this one, a root disease is usually the cause. To confirm that this is the case, cut one of the affected limbs off the tree. Then, cut away some of the bark long ways to expose the inside of the branch. If there are visible black or brown streaks or discolorations, then a root disease is indeed the culprit. Be sure to include this exposed branch with the rest of your samples that you'll be sending in. When submitting turf samples, cut out a circular chunk of grass about four inches in diameter, being sure to leave about two inches of soil connected to it. Make sure that you include both healthy and diseased grass in your circular sample as this is crucial to the diagnostic process. Roots and soil should be bagged and secured separately from the plant itself. Once secured, place the entire plant in a second plastic bag. This will keep it from drying out, while also trapping any insects that may be on the plant. Do not add water or wet paper to the sample, as it is unnecessary and can complicate the diagnostic process. If any loose stems or foliage were collected, place them in a separate bag. Keep bag samples refrigerated if you are unable to ship them immediately. When sending fruit or vegetables, place them in a paper bag and surround them with plenty of absorbent material such as newspaper. Do not send fruit or vegetables in plastic bags, as they will likely decay in transit. If you have multiple samples within a single shipment, be sure that you label each one clearly. Print and fill out the sample submission form. Note that accurate diagnosis and recommendations rely heavily on the completeness of the information you provide. Package all samples in a sturdy box with bubble wrap or newspaper. Place the sample submission form in a plastic bag on top of the samples. The plastic will ensure that the form is not ruined in transit by moisture or soil. Tape the box shut and ship it as soon as possible. To ensure timely delivery, send samples early in the week so that they do not spend the weekend in transit.